I'm not updating uh, so much on YouTube for two reasons. One is that I think I have already shown you the most difficult parts of building an earthship. The other reason is that I have been rather ill for the last years and we now suspect it's um, because either of long COVID or because of Epstein-Barr virus. So I suffer chronic fatigue, which often means that uh, I cannot do any work. And so progress has been very slow. I have passed inspection on electrical and the rough-in plumbing, and uh, I'm about to in put in some insulations in all the walls and the ceiling, and then probably get a drywall company to finish up the drywall and then I need to hire people to help me with the mud. This is the electrical room. There's a wall for an inverter, another inverter and maybe you know a battery. There's a ledge where you can put stuff on top and I'll have wall batteries below. And um, I split the um, incoming power from the outgoing power. So here we have incoming power, two inverters. That's just to have a backup. I have two times uh, 60 amp wire going in there. So I can have two times 12 kilowatt, which is overkill. But I can choose to um, install uh, smaller inverters too, you know, so two times six, for example, then you have some redundancy, which is nice if you're off grid. And um, I have a surge protector, a breaker for the inverters coming in, two of them. And um, I have these two breakers, which go to these two measuring uh, screens that measure uh, current which is done by these magnets here on both legs. So that's why you have two. You need to measure the current and the voltage in both legs and then you know how much uh, power you use. And these things, they cost, uh, I don't know, that box with the two screens, maybe $40 plus some install work. And um, I'd like to have that just to know um, how much power I use. And it's nicely integrated into the wall. And um, so yeah, the uh, inverters are uh, on their own um, breaker box. And then there's a main breaker with which I can shut off all power to the home while having this power on here. And then um, there's just a standard uh, breaker box, no uh, GFCIs here. Uh, we don't need them according to code here in, us, in this county. And these uh, GFCI breakers are expensive. And finicky they say so um, it's just a standard 240 volt breaker box uh, just a trick from when you lay your wire what name them everywhere and just have them nicely organized and name where they go up and then you can write it here again on top and as you um, strip the wire just keep some of uh, the wire some of the stripped uh, casing and you can write uh, again um, where these uh, electrical wires go so that way you'll never lose track. The two um, breaker boxes are, are uh, connected by 100 amp wire copper uh, 4 gauge I think or 2 gauge um, and uh, yeah so 2 times 50 amps for the inverters and 100 amps to the outgoing breaker box and then of course there is a um, ground wire so this goes to the ground pin outside and we're on the ground here so the grounding goes through the roof and to, into the hill and um, another thing uh, to keep in mind maybe is um, depending on the inverter you have a ground neutral bond at the inverter or in your electrical box. So what I did, I kept the ground and neutrals, so this is the neutrals, and this is the ground bar, separate in every box. And then these two green wires is where the ground and the neutrals are connected. And if I remove these two green wires, 
then the ground and the neutrals are disconnected and you could connect them at the inverter if, you, if you'd have to. Uh, it's an elegant way to uh, be flexible. So keep them separate and only connect them in one place. You cannot have a ground neutral bond in two places. You'll get ground loops and all kinds of other problems. Now we got all the insulation in. And every wall is insulated. With R19, I got R100 in this part of the roof and about 65 here. I squashed an R19 and an R38 in a 2x12, which gives you a, an R44 with the compression. I had some left over, so I wanted to make this roof as good as I could. You get an idea of the rooms now. Every wall is insulated because of soundproofing and fireproofing. These are fiber bats and they have some fire rating to them and they didn't use paper but I used these uh, metal bars instead.